Jason, we're here in St. John's, Newfoundland. You're homeless. Tell me about it. I think the first thing that a person really needs to understand about homeless is that homeless is not one solid, definitive thing. There are all levels of homeless. All right, being homeless can mean that you're, you know, I mean, like some crack addict who's strung out in the in the middle of a street, and then being homeless can be someone who is striving every single day to try and better their life, and they just don't have the opportunity there, you know? And, and everybody who is homeless, if there is one thing that we all share, is that every single day is a struggle. Every single day is another battle, but it's another opportunity as well, you know? I mean, there are some people who, you know, live day to day, and their struggle is in, in the, um, the crack addict's case, you know, finding their next fix, you know, and then you've got the other people who are working their way up, who are trying to live day to day, making their money through panhandling or doing odd jobs, you know, and just trying to make it through. And then you've got other people who are striving to put themselves above that. There's, there's so many different levels and so many different stories that you can never classify a single person as being just homeless. Well, you're a young guy, right? Yeah. How old are you? 23. Where, where are you sleeping? Right now, actually, I'm one of the lucky ones, and I'm about as lucky as it gets. Right now, I'm staying at the Choices for Youth Young Men's Shelter. So you're in a shelter? Right now, I am. So have you spent time out on the streets? Uh, a few times. It's not fun. How, how, how long have you been homeless? Right now? <laughs> well, I mean, is it, so it's been... When, how old were you when you first hit homelessness? Um... I had to leave home at 16, um, on top of, you know, whatever problems that a person may face. I, I deal with mental illness as well, and um, it's, it's one issue that, you know, I mean, like you see a lot of people, you know, I mean, they're dealing with it, and they're dealing with it without any kind of help whatsoever, and that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong, because a person with mental illness is a person, it's, it's a handicap. You know, no matter what anybody will tell you, it's just like a person who, who can't walk. You know, it's a person who's, who, you know, cannot function without the proper equipment. Well, you're awesome. You totally encouraged me today. You came here to City Hall at the, the end of the InvisiblePeople.tv road trip. You stood up and said thank you, and I have to say thank you. Uh, you're truly amazing. Um, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, three wishes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Wish number one, um, I would have to ask for stability. I, I would really like to be in a place where I know I don't need to worry about, you know, where my rent is coming from or, you know, anything like that. Wish number two, wish number two would be to never have to worry where my next meal is coming from. Because that one's an interesting one. There's places all over town that you can go out and you can find something, but but to, to really have the choice of what your next meal is gonna be and when it's gonna be and, and you know, I mean, that's pretty cool. Wish number three, wish number three is for my family. I, um, I love my family, you know. We might be spread out all over the place. You know, my mom's out in the East End, dad's out in the West End, and my little brother, he's, he's up the road. You know, uh, but, but I love everybody so much, and, and, and I just want everybody to be happy because we're all facing our challenges. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. And thank you for coming here and uh, encouraging me. I'm glad I could be here. I'm glad I was able to see what I really hope is the start of a really bright new future.